The only way I can be beat is if you cheat. If you cheat. If you play fair and square, I'm going to win. <laughs> I mean... Hey, what up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where it's Liddy. Let's get into it. Before we do, please remember to fill my comments with hashtag BCG, money bags, or unicorns for good vibes. Our first topic is going to be about Angela White and her man, Derek Millenni Milano. That's what it, I was going to say, Millennium. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, so Derek Milano did propose to Angela White, you guys, at the Howard Homecoming. Y'all know that's my girl. I am so happy for her. But let's play that clip. Hold on. What you doing, Derek? What you doing, Derek? What you doing, Derek? so the life transformation that angela has made you guys the energy that she has been putting into the universe i'm so happy for her i'm not surprised that this happened and i can't wait to see where it goes. Congratulations to both of them. And let's go on ahead and move forward into Rihanna and Naomi Campbell. So you guys know their last encounter was trending for like three days because Rihanna basically paid Naomi Campbell dust at a fashion show. Then Naomi Campbell and a friend were trending for two days after that because they were on live throwing shade at Rihanna. And now it is being said that Rihanna and Naomi Campbell have been seen chatting it up and they possibly put their differences to the side after all of these years. Check this out. <laughs> So with that, I think it is safe to say that the beef has been squashed because Naomi and Rihanna would never, right? Let me know what you guys feel and let's move forward into Glorilla. So as you guys already know, Glorilla was being dragged for her black features the other day, right? Well, she did respond to everything and then the makeup artist responded to everything. So we are going to get into all of that. So first, I want to play the original video that got Glorilla dragged. It was posted by a makeup artist, allegedly without Glorilla's permission. Check this out. So after that, you guys, when Glorilla started getting dragged, she uploaded this to her Instagram story, basically saying like, y'all act like you guys don't see me without my makeup every other day. And she also went live on Instagram and she said this, hold on. I tell them stop playing with me going out the ugly ass motherfucking makeup video, acting like I don't show my motherfucking bird face every day. Bitch, what's up? You see me? Fuck you mean, bitch. I show y'all my motherfucking birth face every motherfucking day. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Nose and all. <laughs> fuck, bitch. Yeah. Big fat motherfucker sitting in the center of my face. What's up? How you making Oscar? I don't know how to make my Oscar move, y'all. Yeah. Acting like motherfucker ain't never saw this shit, bitch. Fuck around with these hoes. I don't ever play on my motherfucker talking, bitch. I get on live quick. 
Bunny. Her not done. No, what? Ho? Jealous? Are you jealous? How I look, action man. And then later on in the live, she had some things to say about and to the makeup artist. Check this out. Bitches like that. And I ain't talking about the makeup artist. Like, shout out to you. Keep doing your motherfucking job. You feel me? Keep doing your job. But you know you weren't supposed to upload that old ass, ugly ass video. Them, uh, you know them eyebrows are doing a one, two step. Bitch. I'm, I ain't mean to call you guys your name. Call you no bitch. Because you actually, she actually a cool person. You feel me? But just don't be doing no shit like that. That's still her plan on my top. Fuck. Like I won't go laugh. I go laugh right now without a fucking filter. Now, like I said, the makeup artist did end up responding in her response that I am going to play. She is playing clips of another live that Glorilla did talking about this situation. Check it out. So honestly, hearing this hurts, even though she may not remember the conversation that we had that day, but I told her that I was an up and coming makeup artist. I was currently in school and I left school that day early because I was so excited to do her makeup. Yeah, I just saw this shit on my mother's face and she just f***ed me up. Thank you, I liked it though. No, you didn't like it. What, the makeup? Yeah. I told you it was cute. No, one. To me it was. As you can hear in the video, her friend said he looked nice and so have other comments. So for her to drag me is just insane. Just for her to still call me back to do her makeup. I said that makeup was boob, not gonna lie. Oh God. The f like, why are you proud of this shit? Take this shit down. I'm in shock to even have her, her say that like, why am I proud? Why is she proud of that? Like, be for real, you was my first celebrity client. Like, anybody would have been proud. I'm sure when you got signed, you was proud too. Like, you had time to perfect your craft just like me. And honestly, if it was just that ugly, I don't understand why you allowed me to do your makeup two more times after that. Like, she has different hairstyles. Every time I worked with her, she always had a new stylist. So I'm just feeling like if you just genuinely didn't like the makeup, you could have got a new so before we get into some of those comments, you guys, I do want to give my opinion. The first thing being, no, I do not feel that it's okay that everybody was talking about Glorilla's nose, which is a black feature. I am a black queen and I do have a big nose, but I am fine as F and that is on period. Now, as far as the makeup artist goes, I feel like that is how they get their name out there posting the work that they do. And I do believe that Glorilla was aware of that. And I do believe that she complimented the work and that she liked it before she ended up getting dragged about it. And I feel like it is very shady, the fact that she decided to say negative things about the makeup after she went and got her makeup done by the girl for a second time. But here were some of the comments all jokes aside, I don't think Lorilla is ugly. And yes, I do think her nose is big. Two things can be true at once. I hope Lorilla never gets her nose done. F y'all. So I do agree with this. I hope she does not touch her face. She is not the best looking, but Glorilla is not ugly. And y'all already done bullied the girl into getting her breasts done. So let's go forward. Calling Glorilla ugly because of her nose is crazy. Just say you are anti-black and move. She's not cute to me. I don't care. Y'all try to make anybody who is light-skinned cute. She's cool, but like the face declines at times. Another comment saying, kind of agree. I don't feel like people should upload embarrassing videos of clients Y'all know what I mean when you go from Dusty and Krusty to Cinderella, unless consent is given. Social media will drag you and people are still human and have feelings. Just be considerate. I definitely agree with this. I feel like consent should always be given. But at the same time, you guys have to remember that is how people get their names out. That is how they get their clientele. One more comment saying... 
Y'all get on social media every day and try to make black girls hate their beautiful features and use that same energy to praise women with European features. It's giving self-hate. What is not beautiful about this woman? This girl is gorgeous. Look at her skin. Look at her eyes. She has a head full of hair. And last but not least, she's rich. Y'all sitting on the couch broke watching her. It's giving me jealous. So at the end of the day, I don't believe that Glorilla is gorgeous, but she's definitely not ugly. And I know a lot of y'all are not going to agree with me keeping it real, but it is what it is. The girl is not ugly in my opinion and leave people alone about their black features. Let's go on ahead and move forward into the next topic, which is going to be the sympathy queen, Megan the Stallion. Now y'all know, she changed her deluxe to a mixtape. She did announce the date that the mixtape is coming out. We're not getting into that part. I only want to get into what people are saying about the fact that she is putting out another project so soon. So I guess this is going to be her cover to Megan Act 2. And here were some of the comments. When the person who can't cook won't stop making you food and y'all are too, too scared to tell them that it's nasty. Clock it. Clock it. Another person said, we didn't want the first one. They just be pushing her out the plane with no parachute. Hold on, let me go. The next person said, when the grades ain't hitting, so the teacher lets you get some extra credit. Nobody wants this free Tory. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you are a Bigfoot fan, because y'all know y'all are always in my mother effing comments watching, watching my shows, Barb City Blooper Rolls, um, let me know if you are looking forward to Megan Act 2. Let me know if you guys are going to be streaming and buying because you guys failed to do that on the first um, Megan album. And just let me know what you guys feel you guys are going to get out of this album besides sympathy and payola with that being said let's get into our last topic which is going to be some razzle dazzle Nicki minaj and malibu mitch were in the studio together check this out all right y'all i just wanted to say introducing mally Okay, she's Hi. here. She's looking beautiful as always. Thank you, Nikki. I was just chopping it up with her for a while. Yes. And we wanted to... How are we doing it? We wanted to let y'all know we are where, Molly? We outside. We around, Nikki. Oh, we are where? <laughs> where are we? We around. We around. Oh! <laughs> So I guess Sking was with them as well, you guys. And obviously, people feel like we may have some music coming. Do you guys believe that it's going to be a song by Malibu Mitch, Nicki Minaj, or Sking? Who do you guys feel is going to be the featured people on the song, if you get what I'm saying? But anyways, thank you for enjoying Barb City Blooper Rolls. As y'all can see, they are trying to start rolling. So we are going to get up out of here. Don't forget, when in doubt, pull your mother effing blunt out. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks.